This is a recording of a translation and minor discussion of Eke Romani, chapter 23, at the Port Capena. In Teria Titus, meanwhile, Titus, Patruus here is your appositive, or Titus, it's renaming it, and giving us more information about him. The uncle of Marcus and of Cornelia, both of those in the genitive, was a watching out for, was awaiting, expectabant, eos, them, prope portum capenum near the Porta Capena, which is a gate right along the walls of Rome, the Servian walls, that, of course, are the entrance for the Appian Way. Kiwes mecatore servi per porta mibant. So citizens, merchants, and slaves were going through the gate, atque, and hukaluk, hither and thither, Curibant, they were running. Please note the keyways, mercatores, and serwi. There you have a tricolon crescanes combined with an ascendaton. The ascendaton particularly highlights the fact that at a place like this, which is just so busy, all of the groups of people would be mixed in together. They would not be separated out. Titus tamen in lectica sedebant. Titus, however, was sitting, sat, in a litter. Remember that a litter is a portable bed, essentially, carried by slaves, usually. Ubi Cornelios conspects it. So when he spotted, he did spot, he has spotted the Cornelians. Descained it. He climbed out of the litter. Now, please take a look at descained it. That exact form would be identical if it were present or if it were perfect. It would have the same exact stem. If it were present, though, the I would be the present vowel, stemming from the fact that it is descendo descendere, a third conjugation. Whereas, of course, if it were perfect, it would be IT is the ending of E is the it. Regardless, here I think that it is going to be perfect tense because of the matching of conspexit. He climbed out of the litter. A ride de scanderunt Cornelii. The many people named Cornelius, the Cornelians, Cornelii, they climbed de scanderunt a rider out of the carriage. Enter the enum raidas intra urbum agre Romanis non licebat. For enum inter diu during the day non licebat. It was not allowed Romanis, date of reference for the Romans, agre raidas to drive carriages. Intra urbim, inside the city. Intra is inside and not between, which is, of course, in tear, and certainly not in two. A couple of things to note here. One is that the subject of the sentence is the infinitive agare. The thing that was permitted is not it. Likebat is an impersonal verb. Instead, it is going to be an action. And that action is Romans driving carriages inside the city during the day. That whole thing functions as the subject of the likebat. The other thing that one needs to note is, of course, the fact that Romanis is, like I said previously, your date of, of reference. Stupuit sextus, an um, alliterative expression. Sextus, gate, he was amazed. It's perfect tense. Stupeo, stupere, stupui, the you. When he saw, widio, widere, widuisus, the long ID is your perfect stem, e is the it, he saw, the multitudinum, the multitude of citizens, when he saw implied again, the servorum turbam, the crowd of slaves. And here you have a nice chiasmus with multitudinum and turbam being the A's, and the kiwim and the servorum being the B's, showing the contrast between the makeup of each crowd. Undique. Undique is a new word on all sides. There was a strepitus, a ruckus. Plastorum of wagons, genitive plural. Undique repeated for the anaphora on all sides. There was a shouting, the shouting, clamor, of merchants, of travelers, viatorum, and of coachmen, coach drivers, ridariorum. Here again, you have not only the anaphora of undique, undique, but also a tricolon crescanes and another asymptoton, indicating they're all shouting and their voices are intermixing at the same time. Titus is your subject, and go all the way down to the verb, to salutawit. Titus greeted, did greet, Cornelius, Cornelium, et Aureliam, and Aurelia, and the children, Maximo cum Gaudio. This is your ablative of manner, telling the manner, the way in which he greeted them, with the greatest Maximo, not great, but greatest joy, Gaudio, from Gaudium, Gaudii, a second clinch and neuter. Quam laitus, how happy! He says, how happy excipio I welcome wosomnes all y'all. 
Note here that the litus is an adjective. We in English would want to say, how happily I welcome all y'all. Or, more idiomatically, we would rather say, colloquially as well, how happy I am to welcome, but it does not say that. It says, how happy I welcome, not how happy I am to welcome. That would be a different construction altogether. Non estis attendere defesi. Surely, y'all are tired defesi from the journey because of the journey. Here, itinere is your ablative showing the cause of the defesi, the cause of the tiredness. And, of course, none is a word that expects a yes answer, the opposite of which, of course, expecting a no answer would have been the word noom. Walde defesi, very tired, respondit Cornelius, Cornelius responded. If it were present tense, it would be respond, the exact same stem, but it would have the present vowel e in the present ending t instead of what we have here, which is the perfect ending it. Also, note for the Walde defesi, you're leaving out the word sumus in that he is implying we are very tired, and this is what we call an ellipsis. Me, nekese est, keleriter ad curiam ire. Curiam is, of course, a new word. It's your senate house. We call our senate house the capital. But here it is, of course, the curia. So it is necessary for me, me, date of reference, quickly, keleriter, an adverb with the eter ending, to go to the curia. Now, the subject here in that little clause down to the ire is the ire. The act of going is your subject. Est is your linking verb. And that word nekese is a third declension adjective. Nekesis for the masculine. Nekesis for the feminine. Nekese for the neuter. And thus that tells to us that the gender of the infinitive is always neuter, as one would expect, because it is an action. It is neither going to be masculine nor feminine. Said. But first, and then you go all the way to your verb, which is ducam. A rule of thumb is that usually when a verb ends with am, it's most likely going to be future. That is because long e plus an m equals am, and thus that we have the long e on ducam, we have to understand that the principal parts would be duco, ducre, a third conjugation. Long e's third conjugation equals future. But first, said primum, I will lead ducam, Aurelia and Cornelia. Aureliam at Corneliam domum home. Eat the vero in quit titus. Thus truly, truly in such a way, Titus says, Eke, look, lecticarii. If the carriage is a rider and the carriage driver is a ridarius, the litter is a lectica and the litter carrier is a lecticarius. And here's the plural. The litter bearers, quos vobis conduxi. Conduxi is a new verb. Conduco, conducere, conduxi, conductus. It has the root in it, lead. But here, with a prefix cone, it's going to mean to hire. Quos is accusative, and so therefore we will translate it as whom, whereas qui, the nominative, would be who. So the litter bearers, whom I have hired, I did hire, wobis, for y'all, date of reference, those litter bearers, ferent. Now, ferent is an irregular verb. Ferro, ferre. However, ferro, Wolo and Nolo. All are wannabes. They want to be third conjugation. And since they want to be third conjugation, they are obviously with a long E, future. They will lead or will carry, I should say, for ferrant. They will carry wos y'all, domum home. Ego pueros curabo, I curabo, which has the BI in it will take care of the boys. He's the irresponsible uncle that is often very fun to hang out with, and thus he's going to hang out with the boys, because he's probably marginally on their maturity level. Multa et mira widebunt pueri. The boys will see, future tense for widebunt, many things, multa, and wonderful things, mira, mira, meaning from mirus, mira, mirum. Now, this is an example of a hendiades. Hendiades is the literary device that literally from the Greek means one through two, hen, dia, deis. But, in this instance, what you do, as well as in all hendiades, is that you are going to take two individual nouns, like multa, many things, because multa is being substantized, and wonderful things, mira, and you're going to make one into an adjective to modify the other to make a more complex singular idea from the two. That's why hendiades means one from, or one through two. So thus, instead of saying many things and wonderful things, we say many wonderful things. If you think about a dancer who dances with grace and with beauty, you take those two Two individual nouns, those concepts with which they dance, and you turn it into the complex idea of, essentially, 
making it to where the one of them turns into an adjective, modifying the other. So instead of she dances with grace and beauty, she dances with graceful beauty or beautiful grace. That is an example of Hindiades, which of course we have here in line 12. So the boys will see many wonderful things, atque, and I, ego, will explain explicabo, omnia, all things, neuter, plural, accusative, substantive, eis, to them, a dative case again. Itaque on the next line. Therefore, the lecticarii, the carriage or the litter bearers, pair weas urbis through the streets of the city, urbis genitive, those litter bearers, and then you go to your verb, which is tulerant. Now, tulerant is a verb that one would look forever in the T's in the dictionary in the back of the book, and you would never find it. That is because it actually comes from a word that starts with an F, which is pharaoh. Fere, Tuli, Latus. It is just weird like that. So again, Pharaoh, Fere, Tuli, Latus, Aum. So here it is. They did bring, those litter bearers did. So the litter bearers did carry the father, Patrin, the mother, Matrin, the daughter, Filiam, Clariter, quickly home. And there again, you have a tricolon crest canes and an Aphra, or not an Aphra, but an Ace in Deton, because they're all in the same litter. Postquam eo aduene runt. Eo here is the word that means thither, or to that place. It is an adverb that answers the question quo. Quo asks whither, or to what place, whereas the answer eo. Please do not confuse this eo with, of course, the eo that means I go, from the verb eo ire ii itus. So, after they arrived, did arrive, aduene runt, there, Aurelia and Cornelia, modified by defesi, tired, because of the journey, it's in the day, by, with, because of, ablative of cause again, they, they, don't, they say, quieti, they don't, which is an idiom that, of course, means to give oneself to rest. So they gave, they don't, do, dari, de, didatis, say, say it could be himself, herself, itself, or themselves. You look at the subject, they gave themselves, quieti, which is the dative of the third declension, quies, quietus, to rest. That idiom means they rested. Cal Cornelius Tommen, Cornelius, however, se lawit, washed himself, lawo laware lawi, which means to wash, and here the say is himself because it's Cornelius. So, however, Cornelius washed himself, aliam togam wirilam into it, he put on, aliam togam wirilam, another manly toga, and iterum, and again, he conceded it, concedo, considere, concedi, he sat down, in the litter. There we have both a tricol and crest canes, along with another anaphora, because it indicates the speed with which he does all of these things almost simultaneously. If you think about sometimes when you might be late leaving the house in the morning, you seem to be putting on stuff, you seem to be brushing your teeth, you seem to be eating your breakfast, all at the same time, running out to the car, and that's the way that, of course, Cornelius is described here. And then, of course, in quit, he said, ad curiam celeriter, to the curia, Quickly, clarity being, of course, the adverb quickly. So nevertheless, I hope you study for the quiz, and best of luck, learn your forms, learn your words.